This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? I'm now in front of the house and today I'm going to show you guys something different. We have electric scooters here. So uh, Marcus Biel, you guys know Marcus, he was the one who introduced me to this. And I guess we need to show the products. You guys want to see the products. So we start, start right away. Uh, wow, there's so much traffic here today. Uh, and and Marcus, you know, every time, every time Marcus shows up, he brings all these cars. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Plaid, we have uh, yeah, this, this one also, the Model 3. Yeah, but today we want to look at these ones. So maybe we can start with <coughs> this one. So but you, you're the import, uh, okay. Maybe you can mention for the, for the audience uh, who you are. Yeah, my name is uh, Andreas and I'm the importer of uh, these products. They are made in uh, Spain. Uh, the brand name is Silence and we brand them as Silence uh, Norge here in Norway. This one right here is a moped, uh, so you can drive it with a driver's license for 50cc uh, uh, comparable. I think they're called uh, scooter, right? Yeah. A scooter, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So you can be 16 and, and drive this, or you can be 18 with your uh, car driver's license. Um, it has a range of up to 149 kilometers on one charge, and it's operated by a 5.6 kilowatt um, uh, battery, which is possible to actually take out of the scooter, so you can bring it with you uh, for charging um, uh, easier. So here we have a display. Yeah. 92. Oh, sorry for. Wow, the wet. This is where, what the heck is going on What's here? What's going on with the weather? Look, look, look there. <laughs> it was nice and sunny just half an hour ago. <laughs> okay, anyway, we will just continue. Yeah. So you can see here in eco mode, you can, uh, it's got 92% left of the battery. It, it has a range of 137 kilometers. In city mode, uh, you get another 100 kilometers uh, on, uh, on the rest of this charge. Oh, it has temperatures. <laughs> yeah, nice temperature and, cool. and everything. So <laughs> it's, still, it's still quite warm. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, cool. Okay. And uh, yeah, it just looks like a regular scooter. Yeah. Except for that, I can show it in the back here. Uh, how powerful is the motor? Uh, it's a two kilowatt uh, motor. D oh, d yeah. that is powerful. Yeah, so it's it's quite powerful. Because I, I can tell you guys that in Thailand, I have, uh, that's made in Thailand, different type of scooter. It's cheaper, but it has one kilowatt. And one kilowatt is enough to pull me and my wife. Two kilowatt yeah. is plenty. Yeah. So it's, yeah. um, it's quite quick actually. And then the next one, this is uh, a light motorcycle. You need uh, the A1 license for it. So it's equivalent to the 125 cubic engine. Uh, um, it's operated with the, with the exact same battery, 5.6 kilowatt. And it's a five uh, watt, if I remember correctly. Uh, five kilowatt. Five kilowatt uh, engine in it. So this will do zero to 50 kilometers in two and a half seconds. And it has a top speed of 110 kilometers. It has a maximum range of uh, 139 kilometers in eco mode. This one has three different modes, eco, city and um, sport mode. And in sport mode, you can actually get it up to 110 kilometers. And this one also has quite good space uh, underneath. You can actually wow. store two helmets here. So it's, uh, it's quite convenient with that feature. And see that uh, the suspension there seems to be better. Than, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's a whole different suspension setup on this compared to the to the to the scooter. Uh, and both of these uh, motorcycles, they they have they have actually um, a reverse. So you can push a button here with my left finger, and you, you can and you can, you can reverse it. it. Yeah. Wait, can you reverse uh, fossil? Uh more MC or some you can like the Holda Goldwing, but uh, most smaller uh, two-wheel vehicles you don't have that feature. So, so like it's scooters. quite cool. Wow! Yeah, because you can just reverse the motor. Oh, yeah. That is brilliant. Yeah. Very convenient. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> cool. Um, I think I'm supposed to try this one now. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free. Okay. Yeah. Look at this weather, man! It, it starts raining, so this is perfect scooter weather. So, as usual, we have to wear a helmet. Uh, let me see how it is again. Uh, usually I don't wear helmets when I'm driving cars. Good to go! Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. So now I just... Uh, we have set it up, ready. And then... Ooh! This is just like in Thailand! Yeah! 
Okay, the sound. <laughs> okay, the microphone goes out of range eventually. So, but uh, wow, wow, well, well, that's cool. It, it went into some uh, stop mode, but let, let me try again over there. Yeah, woo. Okay, you know, I feel we have actually a very comfy suspension compared to the one in Thailand. Uh, and it's super silent, okay, as expected. Uh, quite powerful, but I think we are maybe not in the sport mode now. But I, I guess I don't need all the power yet. But I feel like I need to do a range test, uh, not with these guys here. I will just take it some other day. I'm gonna borrow this for a while now. So, wow, this is impressive stuff. And compared to the one in Thailand, that one has only 1.2 kilowatt hour. This is 5.6 kilowatt hours, so a lot bigger battery, but uh, quite low energy uh, consumption. So we're talking about roughly 50 watt hour per kilometer, if we can go 100, we'll see, I guess. But it was pretty cool. Uh, it was weird, let's say, oh, it, but it feels heavy, yeah. I mean, it, it's bigger and heavier than the one I, I have in Thailand, but uh, for people who are used to scooter stuff, then I guess, no big problem. You see, I get used to this. Yeah, I feel like the steering is a bit heavy. Maybe because the one I have in Thailand is so light, but this one is slightly heavier, but it feels actually a lot more stable when I go faster, like now. Okay, sound is going to cut off soon. Huh? What? Does it have regenerative braking? Uh, does it regenerate the brake? Uh, yes, you... it regenerates when you brake. Ah, yeah. okay. So regen braking also. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let me let me see. If I stop it now. Wait. We have to take. Uh, we're gonna check out the battery. Yep. Let's check out the battery. Okay. It's pouring outside. We are in the garage. I close the door. There's too much noise outside, uh, and too much rain. But hey, okay. Here. Let me show you the battery. Yes. Um, so. There are two ways to charge the battery. You can charge it from. Um, Oh, a socket in here uh, and just plug it in a normal uh, socket. The other alternative is uh, to first unlock the battery lock, which is here. Then there's a release handle here and then the battery comes out with wheels. So it's going to be like a carry-on suitcase for airplanes. And then you can charge the battery here. So if you, if you can't drive your scooter right close to your house or where you have a socket, you can easily just take the battery like this. You can, you, if you live in an apartment, you can just uh, carry it upstairs. You can carry it upstairs. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's your, uh, uh, that's your uh, weight training for the day. The battery weighs about 40 kilos. Whoa. So it's, it's, it's quite heavy to carry. That's why it's great if you hopefully don't have to carry too much up, upstairs and downstairs, but you can roll it with, uh, with the wheels. But quite compact. Let me show you something here. So you see, here, here we have the EcoFlow, but this is, this is two kilowatt hour, but it has an inverter. Also, yeah. <coughs> and you can see that this is very compact. It's only yeah, a it's it's a compact battery without the inverter. Yeah, anything, you, so. you can actually buy an, an, a separate inverter for it, but that's another. It's a it's a thing about this big. Oh, uh, yeah. So okay, you, you, yeah. you have emergency yeah, power. Yeah, so you have emergency power for your cell phone or whatever you want to charge. Cool. And, and then, then so can, whenever yeah. you're done, you can just roll it back, um, carefully push it in. like this and then lock the battery lock and you're good to go wow yeah so you know it has battery swap just like neo <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's pretty cool it has oh. and there will be charging stations uh where you can actually swap batteries uh the silence is testing that out in barcelona and when, when, they're, when they're done with the testing, uh, it's going to be uh, possible to 
rent batteries and just do battery swaps instead of uh, buying the battery and, and uh, charge it yourself. Mm, wow. Mm -hmm. Nice feature. Yeah. And I guess here also, there's a spot, uh, place <laughs> yeah. to put the... Uh, you, 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 you can have a luggage box w which uh, can take 47 liters or a really huge one which, can, which, can, uh, which has uh, 300 liters of uh, space in it. Is it for food delivery? Yes, or typically for food delivery, last mile. Uh, parcel delivery, last mile transportation. Oh, yeah. Also, how much? Uh, how many kilograms can the, the thing to total like weight driver plus uh, cargo? I think the total weight is about 165 kilos. No, I'm sorry, it's, it's more than that. The, the, the bike and the battery is 110. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it's more than 200. So if you have a, a 75 kilogram driver, yeah, I, how much? you know I have to read up on this. I, I really I can't remember the, the the total weight. Okay. But we have a lot of uh, last mile transportation drivers uh, driving these. So and and they have both a large box here and uh, and a backpack. So um, I, I I'm gonna have to check that and get back to you on on the maximum weight. That's an interesting question. So is it, <laughs> where is this in Norway or the, the delivery service? Is it Norway or Spain they have this? Well, the, 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 there's a lot of them in Spain. We just started in Norway, but we have quite a few uh, Fedora and uh, Volt drivers uh, using this also here in Oslo. In Oslo? Yeah. Wow. And the guys driving it, they love it. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of math here. So that's what I also asked uh, prior to this. Um, a fossil like this will typically consume uh, three, uh, three liter per hundred kilometer. And that becomes, well, let me turn off this light. I think we don't need it now. Yeah. So, and that becomes uh, with, with 20 liters, 20 <laughs> nook per liter. That's, that's um, 0.6 nook per kilometer. Yeah. But then if we work out this one, f roughly five something kilowatt hour and 100 kilometer, that is 0.1 nook per mm -hmm. kilometer. Yeah. So, fossil is six times more expensive for just the fuel. For just the fuel. And then, and then you have the maintenance in addition to that. And what kind of maintenance is it? Uh, well, the maintenance here is really easy. It's it basically brakes. And if you, if you drive a lot of kilometers, you have to change the, the, maybe the, the shocks from time to time. But other than that, there's, there's not much maintenance. But, but they, the, but they the, last long, right? They last long, yeah. It's not something uh, like oil change. No, no, no oil change, nothing like that. So um, compared to a fossil driven one, it's, uh, it's a lot less um, uh, expenses with uh, maintenance. But, but you mentioned that it has regen or it regenerates. Yeah, brakes, right? when you when you brake, uh, you actually regenerate electricity back to the battery. Yeah, this is, it's a rare wheel, <coughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you can't risk of blocking the wheels. No, no. Right? So it's 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 not a it's not very much, but yeah, it regenerates when you when you brake. And then first is a fossil uh, 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 scooter. Uh, what uh, what oil, oil change <coughs> interval are we talking about? And so On a normal fossil scooter, you have to do oil change and service every five thousand kilometers. Five uh, thousand? Yeah, yeah. They need a lot of maintenance. Well, and so also a scooter like this, they, uh, on fossil, you, they, you drive it on full throttle all the time, so it needs uh, frequent service. So uh, it's a big <coughs> advantage to drive an electric. But it means that uh, these delivery boys. They need, to, for a fossil, they need to go service it monthly or maybe uh, Yeah, they, they have to do that many times a year. The guys driving uh, 10 hours a day, they, they have to do that. And it's not always that they do, so they, they run through the, the fossil driven ones quite frequently. So uh, the total cost of ownership of these vehicles are uh, a lot less than, than for the fossil driven ones. Okay, and the price, uh, what is this then? Uh, the, the price for this scooter is uh, 59000 uh, but after you buy it, you get a, a refund from Anova for Nook uh, 3500. So um, um, it, it easily adds up to be uh, a great co total cost of ownership to, to use one of these, if you, especially if you drive a lot. Hey, can you turn on the lights? We of see? course I can. <coughs> Maybe people want to see it. But okay, so it has higher investment cost. I can do the reverse now in the garage. Yeah, I can. <laughs> it, 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 it actually has a like reverse. A so when that sound is on and you press the accelerator, <laughs> it's, it's this <laughs> green button uh, in front there that you use your finger for. Uh, it's you can reverse the scooter, <laughs> <laughs> which is cool. Because <laughs> regular scooters can only, of course, can only go forward. But it uh, it it has a nice feature if you yeah. need to maneuver in the city or some shit. Yeah. 
It's beautiful, especially if you have a lot of weight with you. It's 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 convenient to just be able yeah. to do like this. Yeah, I know when I maneuver stuff. I mean, when I do that in Thailand, mm. I have to just use my my legs. Yeah, and... so it's 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 actually quite convenient to be able to you know just back it up. Huh? So that's cool. Wow, <laughs> awesome. <coughs> yeah. Finally, the rain has stopped. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna show you that. By the way, you see, of course, we have USB A. Oh. We have one amp and we have 2.1 amp. Wow, not too bad. And this is, uh, you know, European product made in uh, Barcelona. Uh, Spain. Barcelona, mm. made in Spain. Yeah, it's like a Serrano. What is that? Uh, Serrano is Spain, Spanish, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, so that's that's the cool part about it. It's it's European product. It's not uh, it's not made in China at least. So, um, uh, but I can show you this one. Okay, so now we go to the, I was about to say the big bike, but, but the, the big <laughs> medium, uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, this one also has uh, USB, yeah, same uh, one. But, but, okay, but this one has connectivity. This it has, has connectivity. It has app. It has an app. Uh, let's see what we can find here. Um, oh, range. And yeah. And where's the... Um, Wait, this is, this one, this bigger scooter seems to have the same range as the the smaller one. Yeah, it has it has a ten kilometer less range. Uh, it's more powerful and heavier. But it's 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 way more powerful. And here you can go and you can set your route where you want to go. Um, you can go and you can have a look at the last trips you've made to wow. see uh, when that was and how far you've been going. Um, you can even sh you, you can you can borrow your scooter to somebody else by just sending in link so they don't need to use your key. So when Bjorn is going to test this after he gets his license, I can just send in the link. <laughs> uh, and you have specifications. This uh, is really cool. On the scooters where you can see... You have VIN. You have yeah, VIN on the, the SIM card. <coughs> yeah, and then the battery is at 73%. Uh, it has now a range for, uh, for 75 kilometers in normal city mode. Uh, it's only been going for 394 kilometers, so it's quite a new bike. Uh, the battery temperature is 21, um, the engine temperature is 26, and the inverter temperature is now 24 degrees Celsius. It's pretty cool that you yeah. have all this stuff. Yeah, so you have, so a, you have a lot of nice features on the... Unfortunately, yeah. uh, the smaller one there doesn't have it. That, no. So you, you, uh, it, it is possible to uh, order it with, uh, with the same connectivity, but that particular uh, bike doesn't have that, unfortunately. So um, this can be a, a great help for... You know, everyday use. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, you're going to lend me this uh, uh, scooter, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So feel free to test it. I will. Uh, uh, first thing I want to, I mean, we need to do the range test. <laughs> yeah. Charge it up to 100% and, and check it out. Maybe not on the motorway, because I'm not allowed to no. drive it on the motorway. No. Uh, but at least uh, a range test yeah. and maybe a little bit of other stuff. And um, I think also in not too long, you're getting some kind of uh, electric car. What would you call it? The uh, MC car. Or yeah, like. we call it actually moped car. Moped yeah. car. You've heard the rumor. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so in a few weeks from now, we will get a uh, moped car. That's uh, that's a small car that 16 year olds can take uh, a driver's license to drive uh, here in Norway. Oh. In other countries, it's actually even 15, like in Sweden. Uh, up until now, they've only been fossil driven, but now finally uh, we will get a, a fully electric moped car with a, with a range of uh, 192 kilometers. So that's going to be exciting to look at when we get for in, a, the, in the next few weeks. For a 16 year old? Yes. That is crazy. It is. It's really <laughs> cool. Yeah. I need to test that, of course. Of course. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, we need to also test that uh, yeah. car. It's like a, like a mini. Yeah. yeah, maybe it resembles some twisty or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. But it's it's two seats, leather upholstery, wow. uh, Apple CarPlay. You have a big screen in there, uh, so so that's gonna be nice. I can't wait to show it to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Uh -huh. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.